is Chanel, and Chanel is a striped skunk, and she actually came to us because uh, she was born as part of an irresponsible breeding program, so they had too many skunks, they made too many skunks, and they didn't have enough homes for them. So often our animals come to us through wildlife rehabilitation or their rescues in some way. In her case, by the time we hear about a skunk in Wazoo or Wildlife Center that needs a home, it means they really need a home. So she came to us and she does have some health issues. She has a calcium deficiency and she, her bones aren't very strong. She has tremors sometimes. Um, but we've fixed that a little bit with proper diet and some supplements. It's calcium. What does she eat? What do you feed? So she actually gets uh, an omnivore kibble uh, that's specially designed by uh, Zoo Food Company. So that would be all the things that they would find out in the wild, the bugs, the microbes, the snakes, and all those kinds of things. And then uh, on top of that, she gets fresh produce, veggies, and fruit, uh, and some insects and meat. A little bit of everything. We just make sure that that variety is there. Whereas a cat or a dog kibble that you can buy in a pet store definitely is. And now, if you were rehabilitating her for the wild, what do you do? You have special things that you do to kind of prepare her to be reintroduced into the wild. Uh, so rehab is a much different process than sort of the wildlife education. Field, yeah. In the sense that you wouldn't have that that hands-on and up close interaction. Yeah. With the animals. Um, and of course, you want to maintain their fear of humans. So we have a skunk at the center that his name is Yor, and he's with us because he didn't have that fear of humans. And they would try; they would like battle mm. things outside, and they would make themselves loud and yep. kind of abrasive. And he just comes right over to you and isn't fearful at all. Yeah. Um, but that is something that they would want to maintain. Yeah. And uh, you know, people do get sprayed in rehab because yeah. they're dealing with skunks. So, so. Then I'm just out of curiosity. So, is, with speaking of wildlife, you guys are strictly education, no hip rehab. Is that is that correct? Yeah. So okay. Personally, uh, I volunteer with the rehab center, so because we do a lot of uh, triage and transport in our area, we're yep. kind of in a dead zone for rehab centers. So the nearest one is an hour away. Um, so we can give a lot of advice and help people catch things that need to get to rehab. Yep. And then I personally volunteer there as well, so I know the ins and outs of the process. Um, and then most of our animals come from the rehabilitation center. So as an organization, we have a couple of partner centers that kind of keep us in mind if an animal yep. is suited to this kind of thing. Uh, we don't have our rehabilitation license at this particular point. Um, because, you know, we well, you, you've got to focus. We're yeah. We're best at. <laughs> yeah. And letting the pros handle that part. part. Um, doesn't mean we won't someday get there, mm -hmm. but at this point, this is what our resources are. Yeah. Like. Yeah. And it, there's a need for it too, because people really don't know what to do when you find animals in the wild. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's great having organizations like you around. Thank you.